Hey guys, welcome back to Indulge Your Dimples. And I just want to say thank you for all the new subscribers and the comments as well. Negative and positive ones. But let's get into this video. So you clicked on this video because of the thumbnail. I'm going to be showing you how to cook salmon three different ways. It's going to be flavorful, spicy, and sweet. Yeah, you heard me. So follow me in the kitchen. Let's get this meal started. And I guarantee you it's going in your cookbooks for one of your favorites. I promise you come on all right guys so the first um piece of salmon i'm going to show you how to make just in case you get tired of eating your same original salt and pepper a little olive oil put it in the oven so i have a fresh raised salmon alaska i got it from the seafood area um it's best to check if you do like the coupon and things sometimes they have fish on sale and i got this for 5.95 a pound at the seafood marketplace in the store so i just rinsed it off in cold water i pat it dry now this is going to be like a sweet kick so if you like something that's sweet but it has like a little kick to it this is the recipe for you so pat it down dry you get kosher salt or I'm going to use pink Himalayan salt. And I'm just going to go ahead and get myself a nice little sprinkle of this Himalayan salt on here. And you want to pat it down in there. Now, to make this recipe the sweet heat, you're going to need some Cajun seasoning right here. And you're going to need some brown sugar, which I have right here. Now, I'm using dark brown sugar. You know, if you use dark brown sugar, it's going to give it a more caramelization color. If you use light brown, it's not going to be as dark. So, use whatever sugar you have. Don't go out and just get, like, extra stuff. Just make sure you get what you have in your refrigerator. So, you're going to need three tablespoons of your brown sugar. And you're going to need a tablespoon and a half of your Cajun seasoning. And you want to put that into a little mixing bowl. Now, when you are using brown sugar, make sure that you pat the brown sugar into the measuring cup to make sure that everything is fine. <clears throat> now, I have like a little brown sugar on the side. I already patted out. So, that's why I just did it like that. Okay? So, dump that into your bowl. Just like so. You don't need anything else but them three ingredients. Now, if you know and you've been with me, I like to season my food up. So, in order for us to have a really good season of food, I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot. A little bit of garlic powder on here. And some pepper. That's just like one of my things I love to do. Do not put a lot. If you have your handy, you might just want to skip the extra seasonings because the Cajun seasoning has a lot of flavor to it. So all you want to do is go ahead and mix this up in your bowl. And you want to take both sides and rub the seasoning on. So rub it on the flesh side and then flip it over and rub it on the skin side. And make sure you have like a pan or whatever you're going to use and line it with aluminum foil or parchment paper to lay it in there so the cleanup can be very, very easy. So go ahead and mix your seasonings together. And this is more than enough for two pieces of salmon. And all you want to do and I'm going to take the back side first and I'm just going to make sure I sprinkle it on there. Sprinkle enough and just rub it in like so. Now if you feel you want to put like um, a little bit of butter spray, go ahead and do that as well. And then I'm just going to rub it in on the side. And then I'm going to take my pan and I'm going to lay in my fish, like so. Hopefully you can see it. And then I'm, all I'm going to do is take the rest of this little seasoning and cover up my top and just rub it or pat it in. Thank you. 
Now, what you want to do is go ahead and get you like a little bit of spray butter or olive oil. Or if you have like the little spray things. Hold on, because I bought them on Amazon. And mine have great seed oil in it. And all I'm going to do is just spray it about two or three times. You want to put this in the oven on 400 preheated at first. And it only takes about... It depends on how thick your salmon is, but this is going to take about 10 minutes top. I'm going to check it, and then once it's flaky and delicious, I'm going to come back and show y'all. So stick with me. We got two more recipes for some salmon. Alright, so our second piece of salmon, um, this is simple and easy. So this is still on the easy amount of how to cook this. So um in the summertime and last year everything was very hot with the everything bagel seasoning so i have the um everything bagel seasons from oddies and you can get this from there and it says just like the one from jader jader Joe's, <laughs> trader joe's okay so it tastes the same it's about a dollar or two cheaper and i will provide you to get this if you want to try it out and you're not for sure Okay, so you're going to need everything bagel seasoning, your salmon, and guess what? Cream cheese. And you're going to need some type of cheese that you like. This cheese that I have right here is Asiago. And it's really good. It's like a hard cheese. Like, um, I don't know. But you need some type of cheese that you like. Do not use mozzarella. I don't like Parmesan cheese. So this is like Parmesan cheese. Duh. So you're going to need like two tablespoons of cream cheese. Whipped cream cheese or, you know, the black cream cheese. And just put it in the microwave. Hit it just a little bit. What you want to do, make sure you rinse this out. Pat it dry. And you want to add a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm using Himalayan salt. All we're going to do is just sprinkle a little bit of Himalayan salt on here. Or you can use kosher salt. Uh, whatever you have at your house, use that as well. Then go ahead and hit it with a little bit of pepper. You don't have to have pepper on here, but y'all know I like pepper. And I all everything bagel season has a lot of flavor to it so you don't have to add any salt or anything else extra you want two tablespoons of cream cheese sprinkle the bagel seasoning inside the cream cheese and whip it up and i'm telling you, you see all that seasoning and salt and stuff so you don't need to add anything extra to it use a spoon or a fork to mix it up And it gives a nice, like a really nice aroma. And then you want to go ahead and do not make it so thick that it looks like unpleasant to the eye. But just spread it on there really, really nice. Coat the whole salmon with it. And you don't need to put any like butter or spray anything on this. And you can hit the sides as well. And two tablespoons of cream cheese is well enough for you to get the flavor and what you're looking for. And if you're not um, known to use everything bagel seasoning, mix your cream cheese and bagel seasoning together in a bowl. Taste it. And if you feel like you want to add a little bit more cream cheese to it or you want to add a little bit more of bagel seasoning, you can do that as well. Now, what I will tell you to do is in your aluminum foil or wherever you're going to lay this at, spray a little bit of oil at the bottom so that your skin can get crisp. That's it. See how easy that is? And it's going to have a nice little flavor to it. And I'm just going to take a little bit more of the bagel season, not a lot. And sprinkle it on top like so. And I'm going to put that in my pan. See how easy that is. Alright, so give me a few more seconds. And then I'm going to show you the third and the final one. And then when I come back, everything's going to be cooked like that. Alright, so for our third piece of salmon, what you need to do is just cook it naked. Cook it plain, cook it simple. Get a little bit of olive oil or grapeseed oil, spray the back and front, put a little bit of salt and pepper and bake it naked because we actually have to make a sauce to drizzle over this, okay? So, I'm using pink Himalayan salt and I'm also going ahead and hit it with this black pepper again. Don't have to be heavy handed. Do the same to both sides, back and front. Put 
put it in your pan that you're going to cook the other pieces of fish in and let that cook. They're all going to cook at the same time. Okay. And they're going to be done all at the same time. But the thing about the one in the middle that's cooking naked, we're going to make a nice garlic honey glaze for it. Okay. So give this about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how thick your salmon is. Make sure you check it. If you're not for sure, get a uh, food thermometer, put it in the biggest piece, and it will tell you when it's done. So when I be back, I'm going to show you how to make the glaze to put over the naked salmon. And we're going to taste all three of them. Alright guys, so for the naked fish, you need a little pan, put it on medium high, and we're going to cook this. You need three tablespoons of butter, you need a half a cup of honey, you need two tablespoons of lemon juice, if you have fresh lemons, do that. You need two garlic cloves freshly squeezed, you need two tablespoons of soy sauce of your choice, if you want a little hit. A heat tool you can add hot sauce or sriracha sauce you need one tablespoon in that and you need three tablespoons of sugar so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make everything up in our saucepan and if you want the actual ingredients to everything that I'm using go ahead and look in the bottom of the description box and I have everything down there so let's get to making this sauce mix this in there the honey is going to make it thick then you want to cut it down on simmer because you don't want your honey to burn nor do you want your garlic to burn as well and then as this start getting thick 10 minutes and went by your salmon has been cooked all you're going to do is take your salmon out put it in this and turn the heat up and glaze it i'm telling you this is going to be the bomb when I come back, I'm going to show you how everything is put together. One twenty is when salmon is good to go. So I took this out. I'm gonna let it rest. And this one is reading at a little more than one twenty. So it's done. And that's in the big part of it. This is one twenty three point six. You're gonna actually take this one out. And that sauce that we made, we're gonna lay it in there and just coat it. And when I come back, I'm gonna make a nice little presentation for y'all. We're gonna taste them. And boom, three ways to cook salmon. This one can be with asparagus and white little potatoes, red potatoes. This one can be with some um, rice. That one can be with rice. I like when the sweet ones have rice to it, balance it out. The savory one, you can put like asparagus or potatoes or something. Really good. So when I come back, I'm going to show you the presentation. 
All right, so I transfer it over. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. And all you're going to do is drizzle this on here. And this is going to be really good. Okay. So you just want the sauce warm because the fish is actually done. And that's all you want to do. All right. Alright guys, so these are the three pieces of the salmon. This is the Cajun. It has a kick to it now. This is the honey garlic. Really good. And this is everything bagel seasoning with the cream cheese. With the sauce, the sauce will get thick. Like this. The sauce does get thick. And all you want to do is take it and look how thick the sauce is. Okay? So all you want to do is take the sauce and glaze it over your food just like so. Just let it sit on low and it will get thick. And boom. Look at this beautiful. Now, I have cauliflower rice on mine. Like I said, you cook it at 120. The one that you cook naked, you just cook at 110, 115 maybe. And then you want to take it out and glaze it in that pan like I showed you. And then with the cheese right here, the Asiago cheese that I told you about. Or Parmesan cheese if you don't have it, just get a little bit. And sprinkle it on top of the everything but bagel salmon. Voila, it's good. It's flaky. And I want to make sure y'all are seeing what I am seeing. Look at that. That is beautiful. A beautiful plate of salmon. Three different ways. Alright guys, until next Sunday, make sure you like, subscribe, you share, and turn on your notifications. And I will see you next time with a delicious, healthy meal. Alright.